Hello everybody and welcome back to Sim Gaming and welcome to something a little bit different. Now since I've been making Farming Simulator 17 videos, the most common question I get is how do you get course play if it's not out yet and it's in beta? How do you basically get the beta version of it? So today I'm going to get that question finally out of the way and show you guys how you can get it just to stop everybody asking the same thing every video. Now before we do that, I cannot stress enough that the mod creators and myself are not responsible for any damage done to the save games or the game files themselves due to this mod being installed, because it is in beta, um, so we can't guarantee that it won't break anything. So, if you're going to take that risk and you want to install it anyway, what you need to do is head over to the GitHub website, and I'll put a link to that in the description box below. And that page should look something like this. You should have loads of .lua, or lures as I like to call them, and image, sounds, translations, all that good stuff. And we want to click this big green button here that says download, and you want to click download zip file. So we're just going to save it to our desktop for now by clicking save. Okay, so once that's downloaded, you want to go ahead and open that up by clicking on it. Now you do need 7-zip, WinRAR, WinZip, whatever. I'm personally using WinRAR, but it really doesn't matter. Um, so we have this course play master folder inside. Now what we're going to do is minimize the internet. And we're just going to drag this to the desktop like so. We can go ahead and close WinRAR for now and we go ahead and double click to open up this WinRAR-master file and it's actually on the other screen, bear with me. There we go. So inside here we should have all the lures again and the image, sounds, translations, mod desk and that good stuff. Now what we want to do is single click one, just like that. And on your keyboard press left control A to select all of them. Right click, add to archive, uh, .zip. Now, this is where we want to change it, so make sure it's on .zip. And this is a really common thing that people with Courseplay do, is they put ZZZ or ZZZ, depending on where you're from, underscore Courseplay. Now, the ZZZ just means that basically it's the last mod to load up when you start the game up, and it stops things from breaking all that good stuff. So yes, I do the ZZZ, you don't have to. And then we want to go ahead and click OK to create this .zip file. Once again, I cannot stress enough, make sure it's a .zip. And go ahead and zip that up. Okay, so now in your courseplay dash master, you should at the very bottom have our ZZZ courseplay zip folder. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and right click cut and put this into our mods folder. Wherever your mods folder is, usually it's in documents, my games, farming simulator 17 mods, but I don't have it here. I have it in a different place. So there we go, I'm just going to put mine into here, and I already have an old version of it, so it's going to ask me to replace this. Now, now one thing as well I have to stress is you will have to do this a lot. As you can see, it was last updated 15 hours ago, which means you have to keep checking every day to get the newer version of it. Uh, I check every day just before I go to play it to make sure I got the up-to-date version and get more features and make sure that nothing's broken and all that good stuff. So yes, now you should have course play inside your game. It works just the same way as it did in Farm Sim 15. So I hope that helped. If you guys did find this helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hope I've helped you. I've been Sim Gaming. I'll see you in my next video.